On this episode, we talk granny flats. All right, guys, so today I'm joined by Sean. Sean, why don't you introduce yourself to the guys? Thanks, Dan. Uh, Sean from Prairie Realty Group at Harrington Park, guys. Uh, pleasure to be on here, Dan. No worries, awesome. Thanks for, com- thanks for, ha- thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so um, what I wanted to talk about today was obviously granny flats. And one of the most commonly asked questions and uh, things that people are unsure about is one and two bedroom granny flats. So, Sean, why don't you give us some comments on that? Absolutely. Look, the, uh, the the debate of one versus two bedroom granny flats is one that uh, we've heard a lot about and we, we encounter quite a bit. Um, it all depends on, I guess, uh, the needs of the tenants. Now, the majority of granny flats go to either single couple, oh, sorry, singles or couples. Yep. It's pretty rare that you'll see a family of four occupying a granny flat. Correct. What people are trying to uh, t- tend to prefer is you know one good sized bedroom where they can have a king bed in there and uh, room for a tall boy and other accessories. Um, and they've got enough living space anyway. Yep. Classic example is uh, we have one in Norellan that we uh, currently lease out. Now, the wall hadn't gone up to divide the bedrooms. Um, I walked in, the, the landlord was adamant to put the wall up, and I said, let me test it out with a few tenants. 90% of those tenants, Dan, actually said, don't put the wall up, we'd prefer it as one usable and practical bedroom, wow. uh, as opposed to two you know, smaller size bedrooms. Yep. Um, and that's leasing out for about 370 a week. 370 which is a week. On par, if not a little bit more, than I'm getting for two bedders in the area. Yeah, so you're saying that um, you know, a one bedder is not going to uh, hinder the rental return? Not at all. It's about okay. practicality. So. Yeah, that's right. Makes sense. And also, too, I think I'd have to add from that from a building uh, perspective um, in the Camden Council with a two bedroom, 60 square meter granny flat, um, you generally will have some council contributions, and they could be anywhere from Ten to twelve to thirteen thousand dollars for a two-bedroom, sixty-square-meter granny flat. So it makes sense uh, in that perspective to go for the one-bedroom uh, sort of granny flat. And also, too, guys, if you are thinking about or interested in getting a granny flat, if you have a four hundred and fifty-square-meter block, that's going to be your minimum requirements. So, do you have any sort of uh, comments on that, too, Sean? Absolutely. Yeah. Look, uh, there's plenty of. Uh Landlords out there who own properties in areas like in Ellen Vale, Currents Hill, uh, parts of Mount Annan, yep. um, that are sitting on blocks that are 450 plus. You know, some I think they average about 700 square meters these days in, yep. in Ellen Vale. That's and so right. On. Now, the potential of you converting your investment into a dual occupancy, uh, sorry, dual income property. Um, you know, look at the cost of putting a granny flat on versus the return you're going to get. The returns far outweigh the cost in the long term anyway. Yeah, that's right. You know, um, it's, it's good income for super. You know, you're almost positive gearing your property in most cases, depending on the, the loan rates you're on there. Um, it's definitely a good option. Work with an agent like myself. We can give you an appraisal as to the potential uh, market rent for a granny flat, plus what you're getting in your current property. Then a builder like Dan can give you the costings on a granny flat. Put the numbers together, guys. See your accountant, and uh, it's, it's always generally a good measure. All right, guys, so if you are interested in a granny flat, thinking about it, talking about it, um, we've got our guide to understanding granny flats. Now, there's going to be a link here or here. You can put your email address in, and this will get sent straight to your inbox. It's a great guide. Um, talks about inclusions, price. It's got uh, all different designs and the, the process that it takes to get in a granny flat. Also, if you want to reach out to Sean for any help that he can help you with, then definitely his information will be here here so you can uh, grab that as well too and guys if you know anyone who's interested in a granny flat or anything um, regards to granny flat definitely tag them in the comments below so they can get a chance to see this video as well too all right sean thanks for joining me thanks for having me on mate always a pleasure no worries all right guys thanks for watching bye for now